first you run mont and then I run loop midi and uh, because then I can start up media and it can see loop midi as a midi port that it can use and all and then I can add loop midi here as a loop midi port because uh, it won't work until you have selected this here um and it can actually tell that I'm running soft FPU as, it, as you see in the background I have run soft MPU to output it and let's have a look at the settings um, so we have some hardware settings here and there's not really any settings in this area where the, where you have to change anything um i have uh, boosted the volume a bit and such but what you really need to, to get this working is the uh uart that uh, needs to be set to midi link uh, remote and udp and then the board rate needs to be the midi board rate um but also as uh, as in the guide uh, it's uh, you need to change the media settings so that it knows your pc's ip address so that it knows which uh, oh and the uh, the port also needs to be set so as you can see here it's set to port 1999 which is the default port and um and then you can capture from from this and I've set it up in in OPH OPS uh, studio and I have set the audio so that it um, it captures uh, from from a video capture device so that I actually get the audio from the mister on my PC and I get the media audio on my PC and and that makes it all the same device that I actually have the output on. Um, and I set it up so that the PC itself outputs the audio from from the mister and the um, and the MIDI. Uh, because if I set it up in in the OBS, I can set it up to here. Um, here and you have advanced audio properties and you can set it to monitor and uh, output but if you do this it will have uh, a three millisecond lag or something 30 millisecond even that's a that's, that's a very obvious lag when you do that so i set it up so that it uh, outputs directly um but as we can see here i also set it up with soft MPU and the settings is pretty simple. It's just um, it's just MPU 330 and output at COM1. So after uh, after a normal boot, I can choose these different startups. And um, then I wrote that bat file that I showed before. I call it MIDI-EMU and it sh sets off FPU. So if I try to reset again, I think actually I can show something else. Oh, 
it doesn't work that way. I thought maybe I could see that it uh, didn't that it didn't show the soft MPU in in Mont. Uh, so let's uh, try it in a game. I think a good test is always uh, Newton. So I can pick different ones. I'm not sure how much of a difference there is between them. And here we have the audio. I'll just lower the volume a little maybe. So that I can speak while it's playing. And because now I can show this. So here we see it capturing and we can see what instruments it's playing. And we can see packages being received. So yeah, and that actually works with pretty much anything. Um, another example is uh, is the sitless. So here I have set the sound to um, to use Roland MT32, which is what Munt uh, emulates. And uh, if we run Setless, it has all the audio. I do think maybe the Amiga version sounds better, but, um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to show. So that's a nice way to get MIDI on the on the Mister, and also there's uh, other options like um, oh yes, I should show this as well because it actually supports doing this locally. Uh, if you set it to local months, you can save, and uh, it needs some ROMs and such for for MT32 but uh, but it has a local emulator so this means that it's uh, the mister itself that will run the emulation and the problem with that is that it's not really powerful enough to do it so if we take um, Duke Nukem again Uh, run the setup. I 
think the pacing changes a bit when we play it like this and and uh, especially inside games it also really changes uh, how it works so if we try running duke The audio itself works nicely. But I think it has some slowdowns and slowdowns and such because it's but it might also be other things I guess. But it's it's a quick solution to to try out maybe. Um. But it does give the game some extra lag. So let's try comparing it to. Not having local maybe. Oh, and uh, and a third option is actually there's something called uh, um, the MIDI emulator for the Raspberry Pi, where you can make a Raspberry Pi into a USB MIDI emulator, and I think it also supports UDP. Yeah, I think this sounds cleaner and and without as much issues. So that's what I wanted to show. I hope you find it interesting. <laughs>